five and a half pound bag of protein for $21 if you follow the directions in here. Go to their site, use the coupon code that is given here for their site. This is fitnessdealnews.com, guys. I get asked this question so many times on all my social medias. Nick, what was that site you told us about a while ago for like the best deals in fitness? This is it. One more time for you guys, fitnessdealnews.com. I talked about it in a video a few months ago. It is a website that scours the internet. It goes over every website you can think of, amazon.com, bodybuilding.com, I mean any site you can think of, and it price checks all these different sites, and it digs up the best deals going on on those sites. Even if those sites are offering a very specific deal, like you have to use one of their promo codes for it, it'll give you everything you need and bring you to the absolute best price for that thing. And there's everything. There's supplements, there's workout equipment, training shoes. Shoot them your email, sign up with them, and then they'll actually send you emails daily of the best deals going on that given day because the internet's always changing. A store might only have a 24 hour sale going on. They will email you the best deal for that thing and this site is insane. So the link for fitnessdealnews.com is in the info box below for you guys. It's the very top link. Click on it, check it out, sign up. You're welcome. It's Tuesday, May 24th. We are five days out, not including today, six days out, including today. I need to be under 183 pounds by Sunday in six days, so time to not be as fat. Mobility is done this morning. Gonna be doing this a lot this week. We are in peak week for the meet. Basically, it's a deload week. This Sunday, we compete. Um, so today, I'm doing like a light bodybuilding style workout for my upper body, very easy. And then tomorrow is my only real powerlifting day. I have to do three triples with 405 pounds on squats and then something similar with deadlifts. And that's it. And then the last few days up until the meet, I'm just gonna be resting. That is that unfinished, unreleased weekend. Gotta get tingly before the day begins, before my stomach starts growling and my strength weekends. You ready, bro? You born ready. What, uh, what weight class are you doing? 66. So he's doing the same meet as me. He's competing Saturday. I'm competing Sunday. The, the, women's, the women's division and all the lighter classes up until 163 compete Saturday, and then my class and up compete Sunday. Dilos are super fun. He's taking the place of uh, the real Candido, yeah. while Candido's MIA. But not really. So what we're gonna do to get these calories, I mean to get my body weight down, is get these calories down. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, last minute, when you're really not trying to go all crazy contest prep mode, because we really wouldn't have time for that to take an effect anyway, is we're simply gonna lower our caloric intake. And the most efficient way, in my opinion, to do that is, Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is literally just a schedule for eating. I know a lot of people like rely on it heavily as like this magical diet that does more than a regular diet. In reality, it's just a schedule. Um, when you go longer periods of time between meals, I will say the meal will have a greater anabolic effect. That is true and proven through science. Um, so that is, I guess, one benefit of the intermittent fasting. But other than that, it's really just an eating schedule. And the real, the real benefit of it is simply that um, you can eat like a king. You can eat like massive meals because you only have the small window of time to eat. Like you basically starve yourself all throughout the day, and you finally eat at like six or 7 p.m., whenever you choose to, and you give yourself a window of time. It could be like a six hour window, an eight hour window, that's when you can eat. And because you only have that small window of time to eat, and because you've starved yourself all day, you're actually not gonna be, you're gonna feel hungry, but you're not gonna be quite as hungry. It's kinda like when you starve yourself for Thanksgiving, but then you get hung, like full after the first round, versus when you pick at little things throughout the day, and then you, you can eat a feast. It's a good schedule, so it basically like, you feel like you're eating a ton of food, but in reality, because it's only that small little window of time that you're given to eat, and you're gonna fill up quicker because the meals are so big, you're not taking in as many calories by the end of the day as you would have if you were eating steadily throughout the entire day. Does that make sense? 
I'm sorry if that sounds weird. I never really had to articulate that before. Anyway, that's my plan. Wake up. I wake up late. I wake up at noon. Now I have an appetite when I wake up for the first few hours anyway, so not eating in the morning is easy. You mix that with some stimulants, some caffeine to curb your appetite. This is my last rock star, so I'm having this now. What I'm going to do for the rest of these days is actually switch to Lipodrex. Remember this? I was using this for the photo shoot. It is a strong thermogenic fat burner by Isotori. Amazing for curbing your appetite. You don't want to eat nothing. Get a little caffeine in you, and today, since we're not doing a real workout, we're doing just like upper body bodybuilding bullshit. Um, I don't need like a lot of food in my system. It's not like I gotta like get 500 pounds on my back and try to move it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stimulate up, curb the appetite, and fast until later on this afternoon. So, I'm not one to knock anybody's personal style of preference of clothing, because at the end of the day, we humans are just the dumbest animals who turn what was once a necessity to keep warm into something that validates our social status, that is clothes. Um, so at the end of the day, your preference doesn't really matter. However, that said, the underwear I had to pick up just now is not my preference. <laughs> but the USAPL slash IPF does not allow legs on your underwear. So boxers, boxer briefs, boxer shorts, briefs, none of that is allowed in USAPL. You have to have legless underwear and uh, that's something I don't have so I had to pick some up today and I got the cheapest pair I could find <laughs> and socks you can never have too many socks because they disappear while on the subject of social status um, another really dumb thing that I think people do a lot is they literally take they literally they literally use literally wrong like I just did that too but then the other thing is they take their opinions and try to turn it into fact. Like people will say, your taste in music is absolute shit, which realistically translates into your taste of music does not match my taste of music because there is no one general guideline which defines shitty music versus good music at all. There isn't, there just simply isn't. There's only your opinion at the end of the day. I don't care what argument you make, at the end of the day, it's your opinion. Therefore, that is the stupidest statement I hear on YouTube. I just said here on YouTube when I'm clearly referring to comments, I should have said red. We're just full of fallacies today. So uh, we cooked a new batch of chicken and there were like three breasts left in the old batch. And the old batch was still good at the time. Peanut gallery. Um, so there was a, uh, so I put the new stuff on top of the old stuff just so it's on top, you eat it first. But then just from eating out all the time, this particular week, the chicken was never used or touched. So that top chicken went bad, but now like the whole thing just smells disgusting. And like, I don't, I don't think we can save it. I tried to eat some the other day, like after removing the top stuff, and like you could just taste the nasty smell of it the whole time. What do you think when you smell it? What is your opinion? My opinion. I want a second opinion. I don't want to smell it. Smell it. Does it smell like smell it's it, chicken? Only smells it. funky, but does it smell like rotten? Yeah. 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 It smells like you should throw it the fuck out. That's a lot of chicken. I don't know why you need a second opinion. That's just a lot of chicken. Mr. Waste. My sense is fucking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a good sense of smell? I'm really not a wasteful person. I hate wasting food and I'm also not a picky person like believe me I've pushed the limits a little bit When uh, you know, I've had chicken that maybe smelled like it maybe a day or two past its its period And I still ate it cuz like whatever YOLO. I got a strong stomach, right? But that smelled just disgusting now we gotta go to Chipotle and I invited Nick to Chipotle um, but he has to take a shower so now I gotta wait for him because I can't just uninvite him or go by myself is rude so this intermittent fast and we pushed to uh, closer to 7 p.m. now here we are back in the city of Warwick Did I say a piece of cake this is the city eight miles filmed in this is where Biggie Smalls came from Represent. this is where NWA was actually formed oh yeah mm. fuck the public right here if you guys want to see a cool video I did for artistic purposes, check out the city of Warwick, Rhode Island. Nick Wright Live. We're at Chipotle. Time to watch The Hateful Eight. Well, we already started it. We got to finish it. Chipotle. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It is officially 7, 14 p.m., and this is my first time eating all day. Successful intermittent fasting. 184.6. Today is May 25th, and we are down one pound since yesterday. So that's good. We're four days out, not including today, five days out, including today, and I include today because the day hasn't even started for me yet. So we have five days to get below 183. I need to be below 183 by 7 a.m. on Sunday.
I decided to hold off one more day on starting the Lipodrex just because today is a squat day and I don't like this much stimulant on a squat day. Still on the pre-grow guys, pre-grow watermelon rush. I think this is still my favorite out of the isotory group for pre-workouts. Use NWB15 as your discount code for pre-grow. You will love it, I'm telling you. Isotory.com, link is in the info box below. Let's go to the gym. Eating for a goal is like being in a relationship. It requires compromise. Now, when you're not eating for a goal, you don't want to get shredded, you don't have to make a weight class. That's like being single, and that's awesome. I love being single in the world of eating. But when you do have to make weight or hit a certain goal, it's like being in a relationship. You want to eat, you want to enjoy your food, but you got to compromise and not hurt your diet feelings. <laughs> so today, we are going to exercise compromise. I need to drop weight but I want a donut for good energy so I can squat really good and fast and build that confidence up for this weekend. So to compensate for this pre-workout French crawler, I will now be dropping pretty much all of my carbs for the rest of my meals today. But this is a good way to break my fast, gotta say that at least, so cheers to a happy afternoon. Um, see, compromise, we worked it out. So today's kind of a fun day, I woke up excited for it. It's the last day in the gym until this meet coming up on Sunday. Like I said, about four days out. So today, we have to do three sets of three with 405 pounds on squats, competition style. I'm very excited, because 405 is like heavy enough where it's an exciting workout, light enough where you're not overexerting yourself before the meet, and it's a good confidence builder. That's really what this is for. It's a good confidence builder. It's going to keep my uh, central nervous system, and my posterior chain, and my muscles all warmed up and firing and primed, of course, during this deload week, because it's the only workout. But most of all, just get your confidence up. When you can move fairly heavy weight with good ease, you feel great about yourself. And then you head into the meat day feeling ready to kill it. So that's what today is. Three sets of three with 405 pounds. He's my cinematic shot guy. You think it's me slamming those plates on every time, but it's actually my stunt double. I'm always the one doing it. I don't get credit though. Nobody notices. Pump up music of choice for set number three, the Superman versus Zod theme music. Not sure what the real name of that song is, I just typed it in and that's what I got. And it was epic because I finished my third rep of that third set right at the point in the music where Zod is getting blasted into that building at the very end right before he gets his neck snapped, so, so epic. Currently sharing the deadlift platform with my homie here, introduce yourself. I am, hi, I'm Mike Grant. Mike Grant. What's up? Yeah, nice to meet you. Right on. And you're, you're doing uh, deadlifts? Yes, I do. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, deadlifts. Yes, I do. And you've had to customize a little bit. You step on a plate on one side. Do you want to tell them why? Uh, because I put one... Actually, um, it's easier if you tell them. To do he, has, he has one. One leg is longer than the other one, so to balance it out, he goes shoeless in one foot. And wears a sneaker on the other foot and then puts a plate under under the short foot, right? Yeah. Right on, man. And Dan Macker taught him that. Yeah. Yep, and Dan Macker taught me that too, man. And so. Hell uh, yeah. Tight stomach. Get the knees back. Good. Right up. Boom. Push the bar. There we go. Good job. 
some awesome stuff. Dude. Is that 225? Is that Uh, yeah, 60. Another fun fact is my dude over here competed in the Special Olympics, actually. I didn't even know that. Yeah. You did just the bench? Yeah, bench. How did you do in it? Oh, I got uh, 230 once. Nice. <laughs> what was your body weight? Uh, 140 something. Strong bench. Yeah, 140. Beast. Yeah, right beast on. Mode. Good job, man. Hey, y'all tell them, do you remember that, tell them that I said it, good job. Hey, thank you guys very much. Right it on. was an, it was such an honor. Right on, brother. Good lifting. Killed it today. Right, Congrats man. on the PR. Right. Go do your cardio now. All right, bro. Never skip cardio. Yeah. Awesome, kid. Hit a nice PR today. What's really weird to think about is the next time I'm in the gym will be after my meet. That's crazy, so now it's time to just rest up for the next few days and then it is officially game day coming Sunday. I can't believe it's already here. Thanks for watching.